Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. This is part eight of a summary of my book, The Cure in the Mirror, uh, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer, three and a half years in the making. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and share this video so that the whole world knows that the body is capable of healing itself of any disease, including cancer. Three and a half years in the making, in the writing, and it was a really hard one, and it's got hundreds of uh, footnotes at the end, so or end notes. So let me tell you something, it's well researched and I know what I'm talking about. So the body can cure itself of any disease, even the most serious disease of, we know of, cancer. Uh, not an easy task, but it can be done. Uh, we talked about vigorous exercise. In the last one, that's where we left off, component number six. The next is exercise in the brain connection. Um, you know, there's a big, when you exercise, you think clear. You see uh, student athletes in school um, always usually have higher grades. Uh, there's a great book called Spark, I refer to a little bit in this book, and it's about this uh, exercise brain connection. There's no doubt about it. Uh, next is far infrared sauna uh, benefits. Uh, what, what the far infrared is, when you, that's what most of the energy we get from the sun comes in the form of far infrared waves. And, um, you know, they're zero to a thousand microns in length, very specific. You get in one of these sa saunas and you just begin to sweat head to foot. And it's not that hot, not like a regular sauna. A regular sauna is all about heat. Uh, let me tell you something. This is not about heat. This is about uh, these far infrared waves penetrating into your body and warming it up. So it's kind of like you're sort of microwaving yourself. Microwave would actually be, you know, there's far infrared and then microwaves are the next one. Well, those are dangerous ones. These are far infrared, you're sweating out toxins. This is really incredible stuff, but an incredible way to detoxify, and it's not nearly as uh, difficult to do and not as uncomfortable uh, as regular to uh, detoxification, which are, you know, headaches, rash, diarrhea, fatigue. These are the symptoms of detoxification. And when you get in a far infrared sauna, again, you're sweating that out, so it really helps a lot. I'd highly recommend it if you've got, you know, any kind of serious disease that you get inside a spa infrared sauna. Spend the money. Uh, your health, don't ever put a price on your health because there's not, nothing more valuable in life than your relationship with God. And number two is you and making sure you are healthy so you can take care of your family around you. You know, if you're not healthy, you're, you're a liability. So you got to take care of yourself. That's, you know, very, very important. And like I said, the second most important thing in your life. Next is keeping the outside clean, um, you know, keeping your body clean. Hygiene is really important. A lot of people never take a bath, never take a shower. I mean, this is really unhealthy. So you always got to bathe. You always got to clear yourself. Skin brush, I take a brush to my skin and, you know, stimulate the capillaries in my skin. This is what health is about, not just uh, never taking a bath because you don't like it. Um, next is positive mental attitude, component number seven. We're really getting there, winding this up. Uh, you know, that's a seven component health protocol. That's one of the most important things. I mean, if you do everything I, I suggest here up until now with diet and exercise, okay, uh, if this is against you, you're going to fail. So you got to stay positive. How to stay positive next? Um, before bed, what I do before I go to bed and how I t stay positive, what I take right before I go to bed. The importance of quality sleep. Uh, you got to get proper rest. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I mean, some people can sleep four hours a night. I don't know how they do it. Um, me, I require, you know, seven to eight hours, somewhere in there. And then I feel re rested. If I get six hours, I'm not rested. If I'm at five, I'm going to have to, t five hours a night, I have to take a nap at some point. It's really hard to go for me without at least six hours, but I prefer seven or eight. So quality sweet sleep is really important. Um, next is creating, uh, chapter six, creating an environment where disease cannot live. And that's what it is. All disease lives in an environment. It's got nothing to do with our genes. We create this toxic environment within our body, and so we get disease. And, um, and so you gotta create an environment that's clean. This is what we do. Uh, then rebuilding your body after cancer, cancer's re, re, rampage. I mean, cancer's sort of kind of eating up your body, so to speak. We discussed that earlier. But what are you gonna do now? How are you gonna rebuild it back? What are you gonna do, um, and how do you do that? Well, that's what I talk about. Very important, how to rebuild the body and put the right nutrients in it, into it. Uh, number seven, choosing your own, uh, chapter seven, I should say, uh, choosing your own destiny. Well, you know, God is ultimately is gonna take me whenever he wants, so that's my destiny, but um, I, my destiny really becomes, what have I done for myself? What, what, you know, what, what foods have I put into my body? Because if I put the wrong foods into my body, the taste of my foods and the taste of the foods that I like, they're, they're, they're gonna determine when I'm gonna die and what I'm gonna die of. I tell people all the time, I'm not gonna die of a disease. 
how many people are you ever going to hear say that? I mean, people just literally, you know, just really think I'm mistaken when I say that. Let's put it that way. I'm not going to die of a disease. I'm going to die, but it'll be of an accident. It'll be assassination or murder. I never commit suicide. I go into that, and why you don't want to ever commit suicide? You know, it's uh, you're giving back God's greatest gift and throwing it in His face. Uh, you just got to get through things. You're putting on, put on a station here, on a train, and this station, and you want to go to that station. When you jump off in the middle, you're lost. You're never going to make your way back. No more trains coming along. That was your journey. So, choosing your own destiny uh, and how you're going to determine how you're going to live and whether you're going to be healthy. And that's very empowering as far as I'm concerned. Quality of life, that's what health is all about. You know, if you're in, the, if you're in pain all the time, if you're in the hospital, uh, if you've got taking all these medications, you can't think anymore, you can't be with your family, your grandkids, your kids, anybody, that, what quality of life do you have? I mean, it's all about quality. That's why I'm so healthy. I run a six-minute mile. I feel fantastic. Quality of life. Uh, change your routine and change your life. I'm going to get a lot into this about the psychology of changing your life and changing your routine. Uh, it's, it's not easy to do, but that's what this is about. This is about life, lifestyle changes, lifestyle changes. This is changing your diet on a day-to-day -day basis, changing things. And, uh, and that's what it took me to go to a raw food diet. It's not easy. You know, I prefer, I've said it all the time, I wish I could go home and eat pizza at night and, you know, eat all the foods that people love to eat, hamburgers and all that. But th this is just not healthy for us. So I learned to eat another way. And I live on a, raw, a diet of raw fruits and vegetables. Uh, my story of change, I talk about what I did, how I went through it. And so it's just personal to me, you know, to, to me and everybody. It's just like, well, this is so easy for you. It's not easy for me. I just have determination. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be healthy. And that's what I do. And this is, here's, here are the results. I'm, you know, blood work is perfect. 63, still running the six minute mile. I, anybody can do this this folks anybody can do it you just have to have you have to have determination next is consistency um, you know doing the same thing every day I'm, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo where we used to get on the floor and bow in I'm not so active anymore we, we you know we would do focus and one would be one and you know dedication would be another one one was consistency be consistent in your life wake up every day you know don't have a donut one day and then uh, when you wake up in the morning and then maybe a really great glass of water and uh, you know some uh, some fruit for breakfast the next day because be consistent the, the the donuts taste good but it's garbage it's really really garbage stay away from donuts folks they're they're, they're deep fried poison um, I like to taste them as much as anybody else absolutely uh, surrounding yourself with hecklers so if you you have a family or friends that are gonna uh, heckle you when you're doing this and say what are you crazy uh, you can't do this. This is this is insane. Stop doing this. Um, or you know, why don't you just have a burger? And they're all constantly, why don't you just eat this? Oh, what do you, what do you care? It doesn't matter. You got to get away from those people. Uh, you know, it talks in the Bible about bad association and the right association. Well, if you hang out with criminals, you know, you're going to do criminal activity. You hang out with saints. You hang out with, you know, nuns. Uh, you know, you're gonna you're gonna be praying and you're gonna be doing a lot of good things. Just giving up. Um, it's easy to do. It's easy to just say the, uh, the heck with this. I can't. Uh, I can't do it. I'm just going to give up. And again, surrounding yourself with the wrong people isn't going to help. But if you got a cheer, a cheerleader and a squad behind you, and you got people go rooting for you, you're going to be a lot more successful. At least you have a much better chance. Uh, next is I can teach, but I cannot do for you. Isn't that the truth? You know, I can tell you exactly what to do, but you got to do it. I, I can't put food in your mouth. Um, I care about people when they care about themselves. Uh, otherwise, I could care less what you eat and what you put into your body. It's none of my business, and and just you know, go on with your life and do whatever you want. You know, people, the idea that I'm some kind of a, or as they say, a Karen or a Richard, looking here and saying, "Oh, you're going to put that." Well, my family will tell you that's what I do to them. I I tell them stop doing that. But that that's my family. Uh, but but other than that, um, you know, even my extended family, they can do whatever they want. They they know what I'm doing. They know what I do for a living. If they want to choose to listen, they can choose to listen. If they don't want to listen, I, they, I can't make them. And it's got to be their choice. You can't make health, you know, I can't make your, your health my concern. Not unless 
you are really concerned with it and believe me I will do anything to help people be healthy I've been doing it for many many years this is why I was put on this planet to do this kind of stuff and so I'm going to do my very level best to help everybody else uh, anybody who wants help but if you want to sit around and eat your burgers and uh, you know poke fun and you know throw spitballs and uh, you know uh, be a detractor uh, I'm just going to put you aside and I'll have nothing to do with you because why would I? Next is how will you die? Well, uh, will you die of a disease? Well, I'm not going to die of a disease. What about you? I mean, I'm never going to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and think, wow, that last test showed that I have got a really bad, I've got, I've got cancer, I've got a month, I've got, uh, I've got Alzheimer's, you know. This is just not going to happen to me. Um, it's just not. And that's very comforting. But I'm going to die, so I'm not here to live forever. This is not what this life is about. I've said it a million times, uh, I'll say it again, our life is about knowing God and having a relationship with God. And then we've got to take care of ourselves. We're a child of God. We, we need to take care of our, our, our temple, our body. How will you die? Ask yourself that. How will you die? If you say, well, I could die of a disease, well, just know that if you do the right things, you don't have to. Um, and then next is, okay, N N E D. no evidence of disease. And that's the very last really big chapter in the book. Um, NED is when they, you go to the doctor, they test out it, and you get NED, no evidence disease. Well, that's what I have, no evidence disease. You can do this. You can look in the mirror and you can cure yourself of any disease if you if you stop putting the wrong things into your body and start putting the right things into your body i'm going to do one more so this the that's the end of the book that's it i'm going to do one more short video here and it's going to talk about just the end of the book and what to look for um and but i i hate to go with these uh, videos more than around 10 minutes or so so i'm just trying to keep them short one more short video after this one and that'll wrap up the summary of my book, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocols for, for Surviving Cancer. And I want you to share this, this if you would, if you would. It really makes a difference in the, in the algorithms. It really helps us out, it gets us the word out to people. Not, a people. not enough people are really looking at these videos. I wish they'd be, see them more because when they get sick, they go to the doctors and you don't need to do that. So share and like and comment. Let me know your comments. Send me them uh, in the bottom there. I, re I really appreciate those. I get a lot of great ones. I get a lot of, you know, I get a lot of detractors like anybody else, but I don't care what it is. If you don't like it, um, I'll, you know, I'll answer it if I possibly can. I get a lot of comments sometimes. Sometimes I get none. I'll try to answer yours. Dr. Bob, See you next time.